What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Offroad Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new limited time vehicles that were added to the game, so let's go ahead and get this started. So right off the bat, the first one that we see here is this Valvoline Edition Hummer, and I actually kind of like this. I did work for oil changes for a couple years, so you know, I like the oil aspect that they went with this. It looks kind of like a Baja-ish type of vehicle. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if y'all have ever seen like the cross-country Baja races. This is basically what this reminds me of. Somebody needs to create a map for that so that we can all go out on a live stream and do like a Baja race. That'd be pretty fun. So moving on to the next one here, this one looks like the the old Bronco or it could also be a okay yeah it is a Ford Bronco because it says Ford on the front well there you go guys you have it it is a Ford Bronco with the Golf Edition added to it, it has HKS on it Bell so I guess most of these are probably gonna be sort of like a Baja vibe because as you can tell the front one it's got front independent suspension then you can tell by the tires those are dirt tires especially for the rear that is also sand tires and then you take a look at the suspension for the rear that is the Baja suspension setup that they do have added into the game. So overall, I really like this one. I like the color scheme, which is, you know, the same color scheme for the Golf, and I really like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. So we have this Ford Raptor with the Fox livery on it. Factory Race Series, Raptor, BF Goodrich. I like this one. This one's sort of, you know, simple, kind of sleek. It's nothing too much. It's not just straight popping out in your face like, boom, look at me. I'm a rap. It doesn't give off that look. It gives off sort of a sleek vibe. I'm guessing this will be a really good one to buy from here. Just the way it looks and the length of it, the wheelbase of this. It'd be a good all around vehicle to do sort of buy haul racing in compared to these really short ones but i do like the way the hummer and the ford bronco does look so moving on to the next one here this is actually a toyota fj and this is a really old fj this is called the fj 45 now when i do the rc rock crawling competitions my competition partner actually uses an fj 45 body and it is fully red so let me know down below in the comments guys if y'all would like me to create his rc rig in here and mine mine is actually the dodge power wagon so let me know down below in the comments guys if y'all would like to see both of our rigs created in here for two separate videos let me know if you would like that besides that guys let's go ahead and move on to the next car here so the next truck that we are looking at is rpm off-road this is another ford raptor I actually kind of like the other one better but the only thing that i like about this one that is actually really cool is the rpm aspect that they added i like the white and red and then you can see there's a gauge right there to the left and then you can see mountains sort of on the top i like that one i like the way it looks but the orange kind of throws it off for me they would have done a different color i would have probably liked this one much better but it is still a really nice build and it is a really good build for ball haul racing and stuff so i would probably buy this one if i were you and then just change the orange to a different color and you would be set to go so the next vehicle here this thing looks crazy crazy this looks like it would be something for drag racing or sort of like sled pulling in the sand or the dirt this doesn't look like it'd be something for Baja just the way it looks but it looks like it's sort of like a drag racer for the dirt if y'all ever seen those I'll cue a video right here for you So with that being said, now you know what these things do. They're crazy fast. Obviously, they're diesel. I mean, you see them spooling up. I would buy this. I really like the way this one looks. I'm tied between this one and the FJ45. Those two would be my favorite looking wraps in the game that they did add on all these vehicles. If anything, if I were to buy one, I would probably end up buying both of these. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, which one you would be, which one you would end up buying. Let me know if it's the Hummer, the Bronco, the Ford Raptor Fox, the FJ45 Valvoline, the Ford Raptor RPM or the second gen Cummins XDP drag racer www.dieselpower.com I wonder if that's an actual website somebody want to look that up for me if I don't look it up already but if one of y'all want to look that up for me and let me know down below in the comments if that is a real website or not so guys as we can tell the theme of to of this week's 
So guys, as we can tell, the theme of this week's limited edition vehicles are Baja style vehicles. So what we are going to do is actually build a Baja style rig like that, but a cross country, not something you would use in a crew versus crew race. This is nothing you can use to compete with against, you know, another crew or something like that. But this will be, you know, just my simple little cross country Baja build to go have fun in. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if y'all have seen the video where i did gabe farrell's lowered cummins let me know if y'all have seen that all right guys so we sort of built our own little baja style truck and you know this is based off of one of the cross country baja builds so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything i have done to this starting with the suspension now i have trophy suspension on front and rear access width for the front 0 0.02 dampening 3466 stiffness 18 530 travel 0.31 rear access width 0 2 dampening 3042 stiffness 28 581 travel point 28 now we go straight to the rim size and the front and the rear are going to be the exact same so rim size 0 0.09 or 0.9 wheel radius 0.9 wheel width 0.9 we go straight to the gear tuning now i just threw something in here i haven't tested the gear tuning on this but i just threw it on <clears throat> first gear is 2.6 second gear 1.3 third gear 0.8 fourth 0.7 fifth 0.5 and then low gear 1.3 now guys let's go ahead and test this thing out and let's see what this does all right guys so we are on a baja map and looks like it is loaded with people let's go ahead and turn some names off i'm gonna tell everybody hello all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get into starting position and we're just gonna do this so let's go ahead and do this countdown okay we took off let's see how fast we can go now i've never tested these gear ratios out or the suspension so i don't know if it's smooth or anything and that's what we're actually testing out right now is it smooth does the truck work good so far it's not doing too bad, it's actually getting some decent speed around these corners. I actually really like the truck, it's actually not too bad. Let me know down below in the comments guys what y'all think about this. I forgot to downshift there, kind of messed me up a little bit, but it is what it is. Now obviously this thing does not turn incredibly, it's not the best thing in the world, but hey it is a pretty good truck i try to make it as best as i could to you know be worthy of a limited edition vehicle so guys let me know down below in the comments what you think about all the limited edition vehicles that they added into the game let me know what you think about the one that we have on here let me know what you think about the one that i have built do you like the flames on it are the flames a little too much you know how does it look to you do you think it looks retarded if it looks retarded let me know if you don't like it let me know besides that guys please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications